Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. I guess I am basically going for the Platinum God achievement now. Let's check out challenges. Nothing there. Collection. There are items that I have to be missing. In fact, there are several of them that I have to be missing. What do we got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 items that I've never so much as seen before in The Binding of Isaac. How about secrets? We're missing three secrets. Uh, I don't want to go through all these. That'd be crazy. Uh, so I'm missing three secrets. I'm trying to get the Platinum God achievement here now, obviously. Uh, it still says I haven't beaten, in my Steam achievements, I haven't beaten, um... What was I gonna say? Uh, it's, uh, it's, 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 there's too many S words here. I haven't beaten Shoals Satan with Samson. But I did. I did that last video. So I'm hoping that when I restart Steam, that'll take care of it. For now, it's just random. We're gonna play as Samson again. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do about that. Maybe I'll just go back and beat Shoal again. Or maybe, I don't know, I'll go for the Cathedral. Because we have only defeated the true boss of the game, or at least the reskin, reskinned true boss of the game once. Maybe there's something more there that I'm missing. Didn't even know that these guys could appear on the cellar, like these hyper yogurt gishes. That's not yogurt! Okay, well, we'll blow up this set of rocks, pick up another set of bombs. Okay, that paid for itself. I don't want to waste my key on that just yet. We got the Book of Sin. Pretty much garbage. But hey, thanks for the pill. That's probably gonna hurt me. Yeah, awesome. Lost my spirit heart. Samson in a nutshell. Terrible luck. Who we got here? Duke of Flies. Let's do this. So Samson, of course. Uh, you know, I, I guess I vary in my my love for Samson or my tolerance of Samson is probably a better way to put it. We'll just. Oh my god, I might die here. If I die against Duke of Flies, that's it. This let's play is fucking over. Clearly, I do not deserve to be here. Um, you know, Fly is obviously a very, very easy boss, especially when you have Rage, so you can just, like, go to town on these flies. But I can't help but feel that maybe a Brimstone or something would be fantastic here, despite the fact that it doesn't even work. Oh god, I got killed by the Duke of Flies, that's it, okay. Back to main menu, everybody, thanks for watching, all, like, 100 and... Well, we're probably over 200 by now, I haven't done the episode titles, but... Alright, we'll start, we'll random... Judas, okay, so there's no room for pussyfooting around here. Is it possible that one of the secrets I'm missing is beating the game as Judas? I'm No, because I got the curved horn, didn't I? Really? I can't do it. There we go. <laughs> the guy, if he just stood in that room, I would have never been able to get him. What do we got here? All stats up? No, speed plus range. Well, you know what? We might as well fight our boss right here, because we're already here. Regular Larry Jr. Uh, my dude is super tiny, but super fast. Oh god, get the heart! Go <laughs> oh, random! Okay, we're Isaac. I'm unstoppable now. Bad starts, I would say, to these <laughs> to this video. But, you know, it'll all work itself out in the end. And now that I've basically... Oh god, I almost blew up that TNT. Now that I've basically conquered Wrath of the Lamb, and I'm saying that, you know, with a little bit of my tongue in my cheek. Mostly to make it look like I'm giving a blowjob to somebody. Uh, but... Now that I've mostly conquered it, I feel like I want to explore a little bit more. I want to go to these self-sacrifice rooms with the spikes in them and see just what the heck's going on in it. Because I, I know, like, on the other self-sacrifice rooms, I know what you get now. Like, you can get spiders. Oh, uh, you can get, like, a telepills, basically. I got so lucky to not be hit there. Let's see what we got from this tinted rock. Uh, like, I, like, I know the mechanics of those, more or less. But, you know, those other dickish self-sacrifice rooms, I have no idea. You know what? We'll go with a parasite. Parasite is, I kind of get treated like nuns have it. It's like a, an investment in the future. Because if I get other tier effects, like a triple shot, or something along those lines, a freezing effect, uh, then Parasite is going to be f absolutely fantastic because of the ability to split shots after you shoot them. It's just one of those things, I'm putting an investment not necessarily in a, a stronger run, because I could have re-rolled that and gotten something better probably, uh, but in a more entertaining run. Because the most entertaining runs to me are always the ones where... Uh, you don't necessarily have like flying plus brimstone, you just have great tier effects. Let's take this HP upgrade. Down to the next floor, having not even used my D6 yet. Kinda looks like Isaac's wearing like, he has like a mullet when he's got the parasite on. Well, I guess not, because it's, <laughs> it's not business in the front, party in the back. It's like, grossness in the front, party nowhere. So I lost half of my spirit art there, and we'll probably do the same here. I really hate these kind of room layouts. That's fine, you know, we did get that HP upgrade on the last floor, so I'm not sweating it too much right now. I 
really hate these room layups, though. Hopefully that'll that clear a little bit of a path for me to go to town on Popcorn Man here. We are on the cellar. There we go. Part two. As opposed to basement part two. So it should be a little bit trickier than, you know, what I'm used to from a, a vanilla Isaac perspective. But this isn't my first trip through the cellar, you know. Daddy's been to the cellar before. I don't know if that was... I meant that to sound vaguely sexual, but I'm not sure that came across. Instead, it came across, frankly, kind of creepy. Let's see what we got in here. We got with the widow. Not to say that my sexual references are not creepy in their own right, but... Uh, okay, we'll just continue backing it up here, backing it up, backing it up, beep, 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 and the Widow should die fairly quickly. I wanted to fight the boss, of course, as soon as possible, so I had a chance to re-roll his or her item. I'm basically sucking dick against the Widow here, but that's fine, we'll probably pick up a heart at some point from somewhere else. We got a Spirit Heart from this fight, also valuable, and what is our item going to be? Uh, that is tears up or health up? Health up. Okay, well, yeah, I'll take that. I have absolutely no problem stacking health. Because stacking health means that I will uh, eventually be able to give that to the devil. You know, maybe get Spirit of the Night, be able to fly. Maybe get Brimstone, which doesn't work. Maybe get Mom's Knife, which, you know, works like gangbusters. And we might go to the self-sacrifice room. Although it'll cost me an entire Spirit Heart, which is kind of shitty. You like that? You like that parasite work right there? We will go to the mob trap room. I could use hearts and keys. And bombs. I, I could use a lot of things. Money is also alright. Oh god, we spawned two of them at once! What have I done? To deserve this! That was a cool dodge. On the bright side, now we'll only have one set of enemies to deal with from now on. I think it's... Oh, I thought it was... Eyeless Ooze guys. But this is fine too. Basically the same thing, I guess. Except they a little bit easier to kill. Really could use some bombs. Tell me the treasure room has like a bomb bag or pyro. If it had pyro, I would accept that. There we go. I got very lucky to hit the TNT there. You know what they say. TNT knows drama. And there was definitely some drama and excitement surrounding that TNT explosion right there. So shoot this. Nonce. Oh god! I didn't realize that they could get out this way. Bring it on, motherfucker. Easy peasy. What do we have in there? We have lard. Health for speed. Yes, I will take it. I'm slow as fuck now. But hopefully we'll be able to turn this around. Uh, we got a very wide turning radius right now. It's like Bat Rider just hit us with four or five charges of sticky napalm. But hopefully, oh, especially if I get on the cobwebs, we've got it. Hopefully I'll get either an insane damage upgrade or like a Sister Maggie or a Demon Baby or something. Something to protect me. Because I won't be able to use my, my legs to escape because they are, you know, being crushed under the weight of my body. Which is being crushed under the weight of my psyche, which is being crushed under the weight of the Hostess Frito-Lay Manufacturing Corporation. Okay, give me the heart. We will shoot these dudes. Sounds like a, like a Carly Rae Jepsen song or something. Give me my heart and we'll shoot these dudes. Nothing really rhymes with dudes but attitudes. Uh, maybe that's not really... Probably not gonna be uh, on the Billboard Hot 200 anytime soon. Those fuckers don't know what they're missing. Let's pop open this TNT. Get this money. So we got more than enough money to make the shop worthwhile here, which is good. Because maybe I'll get a chance to use this D6 I know and love so very much. I think Isaac kind of needs a nerf. I think he should start... Oh yeah, we'll fight the boss right away. I think Isaac needs to be like... Start with two hearts, maybe. Because the D6 makes him so powerful, even if I haven't used it at all in this video yet. Okay, so we're just going to go to town. I'm Gertie here. Oh, that was not a good dodge. In fact, you can consider both of those uh, pretty poor dodges. The thing is, I don't want to go over to the other side the, the way I normally dodge, because there's one of those green nubs there. God <laughs> damn it. Okay, fine. Green nub. You did it to yourself. Take up the red nubs. At least whenever possible. Thank god I stacked health before this fight. I don't think we're gonna be getting a deal with the devil anytime soon though. Right. Green nub doesn't hurt red nub. I didn't know about that. He will be dead in a second. I need some damage. 
Tears plus range, let's reroll the shit out of that and take Pageant Boy for more money. Well, we got like 10 cents. Uh, you know, it's probably better to go with the tears and- Oh, no, you know what? It was speed plus range, isn't it? Or speed plus tears from Jesus Juice. I can't remember. No, it's tears range and damage, I think. Because I really want- I, I need some speed upgrades. The money's fine, too. I'll, I'll be able to make good use of that, of course. I mean, we are at 30 cents already. Can he- can you please hit him with the- There we- No? Okay, that's good enough. If I had a bomb, I could get a bomb. Rich keep getting richer, poor keep getting poorer, man. Finding of Isaac to Occupy Isaac! Is that a dated reference yet? What do we have in our shop here? We got a compass. Not useful on this floor, but useful in general. Um, yeah, you know, we'll buy that. And we'll buy this as well. So now we do actually have a bomb. We can pop up on some tinted rocks if we so chose. There we go. Already wasted uh, like two and a half cents. The equivalent of two and a half cents, anyway. We can actually hit him, so there we go. Key I can't get to, uh, but we should... Oh, uh, that's gonna be damaging. Yep. Yeah, bring it on. Uh, should be... Getting to the treasure room shortly, although this is a dead end. Hmm. Kinda confused about that. Really needs some kind of... I need another tear effect. If I'm gonna make Parasite work. Where am I going to find said tear effect? I guess uh, the treasure room is... I was already here. Maybe I want to go down? That's the shop. Okay, uh... Curse of the Labyrinth! Or sorry, Curse of the Lost, Curse of the Blind. I forget which curse we have right now, but it's getting me a little confused. I think we want to go up now? Maybe? Yes, indeed. Okay. Shoot the TNT, but don't hurt yourself. Problem solved. In our treasure room we have Tears Up. Which I will reroll for Mulligan. Okay, that's good. It's a little bit of extra damage. Uh, you know what? Why not? We'll sacrifice our spirit heart to go to the self-sacrifice room. Yeah, that went really badly. <laughs> like incredibly badly. Uh, lost a spirit heart, lost another full heart, and then got hit again on the way out. Cool beans. But we still have a we have enough health where we can make that happen without feeling too bad about ourselves. I wonder. Parasite, I guess, stacks reason. Nah. Parasite, I guess, stacks reasonably well with Mulligan, because if, remember, if we hit with our shots, we get a chance for the Mulligan Flies to spawn. So I'm guessing that the Parasite Deflections will also cause Mulligan Flies to spawn. If so, that's pretty good. But we really need some kind of damage upgrade. Pro preferably more than one. Uh, I would definitely go for like a mom's knife trade with Satan right now, if I was given the opportunity. Wink wink, nudge nudge. Bob's your uncle, uh, we're gonna have the treasure room right here. How did I get hit there? What, what hit me? Yeah, just crash against his skeleton there. We're not gonna be able to reroll this just yet. So let's, come on, come on, come on. Come on, who's a good turret? There we go. Tick, which I probably don't want just yet. Should have probably gone to the treasure room before doing anything else. But I don't think it really matters in the whole scheme of things. Fistula room is not so difficult. Especially Mulligan is, is actually an underrated item. At least I underrated. Or have historically underrated it. Uh, but right now it's working out pretty nicely for us. We got Wafer. No chance of re-rolling that, I think that's a really solid item. What it does mean is that we will fight our boss right away, because we're already here. Uh, damage resistance will be imperative, extraordinarily important on the womb, and the cathedral, of course. Or, yes, it will be the cathedral, because we won't be going to fight Satan, because I've A, already done that, and B, um, am not Samson right now, anymore, <laughs> despite starting the video as Samson, and then switching to Judas. And look at how much better I've done as Isaac. I mean, it is a lot easier, considering he starts with, like, literally... Well, not quite triple the health of Samson, but, you know, along those same lines. Deal with the Devil would be awesome here. No such luck. We get our damage upgrade, so I'm not going to reroll that either. Something that I definitely asked for. Uh, I think Isaac should go to the fucking hospital. Dude looks like he's in bad state right now. Definitely will not go for the tick. We're gonna continue exploring here. I got enough health that if more red hearts drop and I get back to full health, 
I can definitely go visit that arcade, maybe get something done in the blood bank, get another HP upgrade. Kind of thing that appeals to me. This is going to be great, I can tell. Telepills took me about two rooms backwards. Not that spectacular, I suppose. I mean, I could pick up the tick, and it would help me on some of these boss fights, but uh, the downside is, obviously I wouldn't be able to pick up other trinkets. That's something that's come up, you know, numerous times before in the past. But, uh, you know, I'm trying to get all the items in the game so I can get Platinum God. So I really need kind of the opportunity to be able to pick up these items. And Platinum God is not that far away. Was it like 11 items? That's a lot, but it's not the end of the world, you know? Like, there's what, like 200 items in this game now? Well, I'm back to nearly full health, but I did lose my bomb there. Um, yeah, there's like nearly 200 items in the game, and I've gotten 189 of them, so we're pretty damn close. We, we've almost, you could say, caught them all. And of course my other goal, apart from just going to the blood bank on this floor, uh, is actually to get 15 cents and go to the shop. There's more bombs for us, which is good. Uh, because I do have the reroll, so obviously if the things in the shop are not to my fancy, I can make them to my fancy. Sounded more threatening than I meant it to. And I think we got we got offensive power now. Maybe not enough to, to carry us through the game on our damage alone, but enough that we can, you know, with our other upgrades, with our other strengths, because everyone has many strengths, um, we can make our way. Let's re-roll that range upgrade for Ouija board. Okay, that's, that's all right. Traded a key for Ouija board. I'm not really rolling in keys right now, but it could be worse. So now it's going to be very difficult for us to shoot the TNT. We'll probably, we'll be able to, it, the thing about Ouija board is it makes it impossible to shoot structures. So if we were shooting the dude through this TNT, it would be faster for us to just kill him with our shots than it would be to blow up the TNT, which normally only takes two shots. Okay, well we got two blood banks, uh, but I don't have any health. So I don't think I want to go into the shop, actually. I want to save, or into the arcade, I want to save my money and maybe be able to use it on the next floor. I could also look for a secret room, but... Is it worth it at this point? I need to save that bomb for maybe, who knows, maybe I need spirit hearts in the future. Maybe a Tinted Rock is going to pop open with a spirit heart and a damage upgrade. So I'm going to conserve my materials right now. I feel like for leaving the caves part one, I'm in an okay position. Is the parasite worthless now? Because when it hits structures, like the Ouija board causes it to go through structures, uh, but I guess maybe when it hits enemies it will still splinter. Who knows, man? Who knows? So, uh, yeah, oh yeah, why not? I got kind of confused there. Uh, that is... I think that's speed and range, in which case I will absolutely pick that up, but I want to wait until there's no enemies on the screen. Could reroll it as well, but I think it's a decent enough item. Again, I'm just going to wait till there's no enemies on the screen, and, you know, Lord knows, as I mentioned earlier, I need range up, or I need speed upgrades. I hope I'm not mistaking that with something else. I know purple is growth hormones, which is like speed plus damage. Red is poison touch. So I think green is... or white is speed ball, so I think green is speed plus range. We'll see. I should know this by now. There we go, we got a spirit heart as well. Speed and range, alright, roid rage. That's good, we're fast enough now. Uh, I will probably go and visit that health judgment, provided that I get... Oh, this is bad. Provided that I get some health upgrades myself. Like, I don't know what, what am I supposed to do here. I've lost my spirit heart already. Like, I, there, I, I was trying to do the dodges, and I thought I was doing a reasonably good job, but... Evidently, the game thought different. Look at these rooms that they're giving me are pretty damn difficult. I guess we are on Necropolis 1. Mulligan. Mulligan, save me! I did lose, like, a little bit of money here. Two cents, maybe? Oh, there goes a little bit more. Go to the treasure room. Maybe I won't have any extra health to play that, uh, health judgment. I hate the spikes so much. Oh, there we go. He crashed into them. We got rage. Yeah, we'll take that. That's uh, basically another damage upgrade for us. We'll make our way just up and around, continue exploring basically everything that we can at least. Hey, that's a huge benefit to be able to find the secret room without actually investing anything ourselves. <laughs> to be able to find both secret rooms, obviously I'll have to like re-explode into one of them. I'm getting low on health. This is not good. 
So I got bombs. Let's go to the top one first. Terrible. Uh, now we'll go to the side one. Wow. Quality, quality secret rooms there. Um, we will probably want to go to the shop because, you know, I really need health, if nothing else. Yeah, I'm going to try to get him to do that so he just kills himself on these spikes. More or less. That was easy. Kind of scared about this room, but if we could just shoot the TNT, it would have been way easier. There we go. We do have a self-sacrifice room, which is probably not in my best interest right now, considering I only have three and a half hearts of, like, seven total. Is it seven? Yeah, it is seven total. It's so, like, overall on health, we're doing fine. But our current health state is pretty bad. So pick that up, and then just get the hell out of there. Of course, this is one of the very few runs where I haven't had a ton of heart drops, which is strange and unusual. And this is going to be very difficult for me to dodge. This is the damn neutral flies. Our total pain in the fucking ass. I got very lucky to not be hit there. I'm not going to mince words. Oh, just focusing intently on what's going on here. Come on, at least get in range of my shots. There we go. Managed to kill him. I think that was mostly mulligans doing. And we might as well take out the flies while we're here. Reason being, maybe they will drop something. I could really use like 10 red hearts or a full health pill. One of these days we'll be able to shoot this poop down. Get in there. There we go. Got a nice little mulligan selection for ourselves. Uh, scary room, to be sure. Luckily, I did get that speed upgrade on the last floor. Oh, man. Okay, we're gonna live. Let's take this pill. Full health. Full health. Wow. Okay. Uh, we're gonna jet over to the right and not get hit, amazingly. We've done with this room before. Okay, that was like... That full health pill is an unbelievable blessing. Now, we should be able to defeat our boss here. Reroll the item if necessary. Maybe get enough money to go to the shop. And, you know, proceed onwards as if none of this terrible floor happened to me. Which is really the way I would like to do things. I can't hit that red... There we go. Uh, troll bomb. No thank you. What do we have, Necropolis Part 1? Mask of Infamy. Alright, this guy's gonna be a pain in the ass. I don't think there's any question about that. Heart is not so bad. Easy to hit. We'll get some good flies going, but then our flies will probably just crash into the side of this mask. Almost a terrible dodge on my part. Remember, of course, that the mask can only be hit from the back, which is going to make this potentially, you know, the longest boss fight that we've had in a little while. Let's keep it up. Uh, I mean, I think we basically know what we're doing on boss fights like this. I think the more you hit him, the more the faster he gets, though. I'm not sure if that's true. I mean, oh god, that was a bad dodge on my part. Uh, every video game, well, many video games have a boss with this kind of mechanic. He's got a weak spot at his back, he protects it. Hit him as much as possible. So if I don't know how to deal with this boss by now, I've got bigger problems. There we go, that was easy. Ah, uh, the crate is a pretty decent item. Let's pick that up, we'll get everything. We got the Polaroid again. Uh, not even sure if that's useful for us at this point. First tarot card is the Fool. We got a key. What does this pill do? Puberty. I don't know what that does yet. Maximize tears? Ah, uh, who knows. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> but we made it. Do I really want to? No, I don't want to go to the shop. I only have 11 cents. Okay, let's book it. Managed to make it there. Kind of surprising. And down to the next floor, I guess. We're already here, so we might as well. I have the fool card, which I can use at some point to do something, I suppose. Maybe. <laughs> Trying to be as non-committal as possible. So who knows, man, what the future holds. And we'll just take out these guts the only way I know how, which is the super dangerous way, apparently. Got that one dead. We'll pick up some money. I hope that we can go to the shop on this floor. We've been a little bit poor, despite having 30 cents like 10 minutes in. That was kind of close. Uh, yeah, because I'd spend my money on like... 
bombs and spirit hearts in the shop for once, and then never got very much money again. I, I mean, I would love to pick up that key. Unfortunately, I, I can't, because if I blew up those bombs, they wouldn't be in the right position. Oh, god damn it. They wouldn't be in the right position for me to actually, you know, continue. That's fine, I'll, I'll deal with that. Uh, let's make our way to the item room first. For example, if I put a bomb here, it would just go diagonally to the path, which would make it impossible for me to walk in, I believe. I knew he was going to turn around. I knew it. Yeah, health upgrade. Why not? Definitely worth dealing with the uh, Depths Part 2 boss room. The uh, gauntlet room. I haven't run into any boss trap rooms yet. Thank God we're doing so well on health, because otherwise... Probably would have lost on the last floor. Now, Depths Part 2 should be easily easier than Necropolis 1. By all accounts, right? We'll see, though. I would really love, I've been saying this a lot, but I would really love one more tier effect. I think a slow or a freeze in combination with the Parasite would be superb. I thought we had this pill already. Health down? Ah, oh, man, that sucks. Well, I guess that room was basically worthless for us. I'll try to avoid painting myself in a corner Jughead style. We got enough keys, we got the D6 charged and ready to go. Basically ready to get rid of as well. I wouldn't mind getting rid of my D6. Yeah, let's re-roll that. All stats up. Way better than just a lousy shot speed and speed upgrade. My speed is alright right now. It's probably around Isaac's default speed. And we'll just continue exploring basically every room that we come across, because you never know what you're going to get. Could make use of that blood bank in the future. I need to. I would love to just play it a couple of times. So that I could get to 15 cents and make the shop worthwhile, even though we're probably going to run into greed in the shop anyway. You know, shit happens like that. What do we got going on in here? Let's play it twice. I don't care. We'll fight. <laughs> okay. Well, we will uh, continue on with our incredible luck. I think it's all it, uh, as a, like a penance, the game's penance for giving me that health down pill after giving me another health up. So I could have potentially have had three new hard containers on this floor. Ooh, gotta do some bullet hell style dodges here. There we go, managed to survive. Extra keys, always welcomed. We will be entering golden chest territory soon. Not that there's gonna be more golden chests, but that I will be opening more of them. We got bombs, we got D6 recharged, which we'll use, I don't even know where, probably the shop, if we ever get enough money to make that happen. Dodge is going okay so far. Main thing with dodging an Isaac, man, <laughs> don't listen to me. Uh, main thing with dodging an Isaac, you gotta believe in yourself. If you believe that you can do the dodges, you can do the dodges. If you don't, you can't. That and, you know, adept use of your arrow keys and WASD keys will carry you a long way. And you're buying to give Isaac a career. We'll continue over here to what I assume is the boss room slash shop pavilion. You know, get a coffee, fight a demon spider. You can do it all in one convenient location now. Got one more hit on that other bomb fly. It's like three on this one. If I could actually hit it, which I can't. Actually, maybe we'll have less because I have Rage, right? Seriously, there we go. Okay, we got Cursed Skull. I would rather stick with the Polaroid, even if it doesn't have any effect apart from, you know, the effect that we've talked about ad nauseum. Is that a full health pill? What pill is that? That might be a full health pill. Let's check. I found pills. How do we know that? I'm confused. Uh, well, we might as well go to the shop. Yeah, I mean, we all pretty much knew this was going to happen. If I take hit damage, I take damage. Not a big deal. We're just going to be fighting Mom, which is not so bad, and hopefully I'll be able to proc the shit out of the mulligan during that fight. Obviously, this money is probably not going to come in handy unless I end up, you know, miraculously finding a shop in the room, which is something that has probably never happened before over the course of human history. I shouldn't say that. This game has been glitchy long enough that, you know, things like that are inevitably going to happen. Flies, just continue doing some crowd control for me. You're, you're doing your jobs right now. I'll try to create more of you whenever possible. Fight's going pretty well so far. I wish she would destroy these two rocks in front of me, though. 
are on top of me, I guess, at this point. Rage getting built up. Shouldn't get too close to the side there. I like this. We got like a mulligan fly. Well, it's gone now, but there was a mulligan fly at like two different entrances. It's just like, yeah, you're gonna pop out? Well, we got you. We're almost done with this. Easy boss fight, actually. Well, not easy. I, I did, you know, do a lot of fairly good dodging myself. We'll get up to, um, yeah, full health and maybe a little extra health with some tears as well. So we're up to 10 hearts. We got a good chance here, I think, but we still don't have really any damage. But hopefully it's not going to matter too much. I mean, I'm not going to say we don't have any damage. We, we just don't have over-the-top damage. You know, Sylvester Stallone arm wrestling style damage. We'll walk this dude onto the spikes. Pick up this, so just hold that heart, I guess. We'll need that in the future, of course. I guess, you know, if I can take out these Diglets fairly effectively, they, they have a ton of HP, so I would consider myself to have okay damage right now. Now that we finally have enough money for the shop, of course we'll, we'll never run into one. Because it's impossible to run into one in the womb. And worth noting, remember, you might remember like two or three floors ago, picked up the wafer. Now that is going to pay for itself. I mean, I got it for free anyway, but it's, it, you know, imagine that I paid for it. It's going to pay for itself. We're going to get a spirit heart here too. Should probably take out the Larry Juniors before I worry about anything else. They're the ones that pose the largest threat to me. You are dead. And so are you. Extra money for us to... Oh, I thought that was the boss room right there. That was my bad. I took my hand off the, con the controller briefly. Well, the keyboard briefly. Okay, who we got here? Skolex. Skolex. Conquest. Kind of difficult. Still do not have a spacebar item. I don't think I've even had the chance to get a spacebar item. Which is unusual. Considering how many item rooms I've been to. I guess I haven't been to that many shops, though. Conquest is going to give us White Pony, though. That's going to give us the ability to fly, so I'll definitely take that. Remember, of course, that we do have the Ouija board as well, which means that, you know, I think I've expressed my, my love for that combination previously. Ouija board plus flying is... That was bad. Uh, great combination. You are dead. Thank you. We are back to full health, although we did lose the spirit heart. There's our white pony. And now we are a headless or a bodiless dude who can fly wherever he wants. Uh oh. Yeah, Udro. I expected that, considering we had the weird lag when I got in. And that was our last treasure for the game, unless golden chests are, like, exceptionally good to me. Which they have been in the past. I mean, it's not out of the question. But for now, we're just gonna we're gonna rely on what we have to make it work. Should definitely watch out for that. Uh, I guess I'll save my rays of sunshine from the pony card. Oh, that was terrible. But remember, well, man, when things in the womb only do half damage, like that that makes the wafer such an overpowered item. There's right, full health for us again. Um, yeah, maybe I'll save rays of sunshine for the the boss fight. This should be coming too soon. How did he hit me there? I guess it's not a big deal, because there's health, like, everywhere. <laughs> I'm an idiot, apparently. I just gotta stop moving. If I just stay on top of the rocks, he won't be able to get me. It's like I see him coming for me, and I'm like, oh shit, I got spooked. This is, might be the hardest enemy in the game, the hardest single enemy, anyway, that is not a boss. So we'll take ourselves back up here. We know that this is not the right way to be going. Could go to the arcade, but uh, I think that's probably not the best use of our time right now. This is a Rays of Sunshine type level. That'll recharge in six rooms. Probably before we get to the boss, anyway. I'm starting to hate these guys. I used to kind of like them. Now I don't. World card. Uh, we'll save that for the cathedral, where it will hopefully allow us to find our way to the boss very, very quickly. We do have the compass, of course, as well, which doesn't really stack, but... Hey, there's a damage upgrade from Steven. Not gonna complain about that. Uh, we'll just fly this dude on top of the spikes. And we should, well, we're probably not gonna get the pony uh, recharge before our boss fight, but I think, you know, everything else is going pretty darn well. The only good thing about these guys is that they kill their own. Still took damage there. Again, that was just my own... That, that, that time wasn't stupidity, that time was like... I, I, I got him. I got him. Don't worry. Right, so we get a scent there. Please give me a half heart so I can at least have full health for this boss fight. I mean, I don't expect that it's going to be too difficult, but still. Well, 
There goes a little bit more. No excuses to be taking damage against Loki. Like, he's one of the easier bosses in the game. Yeah, and then there's another set of damage for no reason. But we're only down one and a half hearts, and we have a lot. So we can afford a little bit. Can't go in there. We can afford to, to make this happen like this. That's it. Mom's heart. I got enough bombs to make this work. I got enough damage to make this work. But it's not our ideal build for a mom's heart. Oh, that was a bad bomb. It's got it's killed like one vaginal silkworm. We will have rage, which is going to be our, our main benefit here. We're going to be doing insane damage very shortly. Bring it on, Monstro. I ain't ever scared. Okay, Monstro down. And zombies. Okay, we got two of them. That's enough. Third one. Okay. Ten bombs left. Remember, I don't need these bombs for anything else after this. In all likelihood. We got mom continuously firing bombs. Oh man, I'm taking a little bit too much damage here. Hopefully she will drop some health. She usually drops like one heart. Half a heart. Awesome. <laughs> and up to the next floor. Could have gone down to the shoal, but what's the point? Use the world card quickly and we can, whoa, get our way to, into the secret room very, very quickly here. Or get our way into the, the boss room very, very quickly here is what I was trying to get at. Just focusing on the horsemen right now. We'll, we'll deal with the white bomb flies later. Okay. There we go. That was perfect. Get a spirit heart. Go into the secret room. Skip by another two rooms. With good use of bombs. Not that that money is probably ever going to come in handy. What do we got in here? Okay, we got a daddy long legs. Should be fine. Mulligan! Not to be understated right now. Okay, I remember how to deal with this now. <laughs> like the mulligan is um, on, on enemies that mostly stand still is extraordinarily good because it procs so often. Okay, we got greed, we got fistula. Let's let's worry about the greeds first. Make my life a lot easier. Whatever. Uh, it would make my life a lot easier if the greeds were dead. I need to stop taking damage. Although I do have enough health to probably... I mean, with the wafer, it, it, effectively my health in the womb has been doubled. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty strong about health right now. Damage is good. Health is good. And that's really all we need. Our spacebar item is adequate. Thanks for the extra half heart. That's another hit, I guess. Got some gish here. Gish eye. Gishai are dead, and we will immediately go fight Blue Baby. Sorry, not Isaac, Blue Baby, of course. So I am going to try to avoid getting hit. I guess Blue Baby... Oh my god, maybe I will lose here. Blue Baby fires a little bit more assholey than Isaac did. And there's no enemies for me to kill you. Okay, let's use... There we go. Use the White Pony. I may die here. In spite of my... Amazing damage. Okay, so we got second form blue baby with Isaac's face. That's weird. Gotta proc more mulligans here. Now I'm starting to get serious, starting to really try to dodge. The mulligan procs are what's really gonna do the damage for me here. If I can, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I think my dodging is, is back. To a certain extent, I was a little bit too cocky when I walked in here. I was like, ah, you know, I'll just, you know, fire at Blue Baby as fast as I can. And this fight will be over before you can say you're Bob's your uncle. Oh, th this fight still isn't over, though. I could kill these fetuses, though, to get some range... Or, oh, get out of there! Get some rage upgrades, which would be awesome. This could be a tight fight. Oh, man. Get out of there, get out of there! How did I dodge all those bullets? Did you see that matrix of bullets? Okay, rage is... Getting huge now, I assume. Should be like one shot on these angel fetuses. This conversation probably sounds really weird to anybody else in my house right now. Shut up, it's my job. Okay, here we go. I think Blue Baby's gonna die. Excellent. And, you know, barring huge disasters, we'll succeed there. Uh, but that was pretty lucky. How long has it been since I lost a run? Well, I guess like 30 minutes because I failed the first two runs of this. How long has it been since I didn't succeed in a video? With the Binding of Isaac, it's been a long time. Like I said, I'm enjoying this Tiger Woods-like form. That's Tiger Woods like 2005, not Tiger Woods 2009. But anyway, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.